loving her so far. Um, Coach Gillespie was a big head of you know the recruiting, and then you know, when I came up on my visit, I got to meet some of the other coaches. But Coach Gillespie headed it. I mean, as far as other schools, um, South Carolina, Auburn, Georgia. I mean, countless schools, you know, too many names on top of my head, but, you know, this was a school that I felt like, honestly, you know, wanted me to be here. Coach Holverson has spoken both highly of you and Dustin in practice. Are you surprised that you've been able to pick this offense up so quickly? Um, it's not that, you know, Coach Holgerson has a great offense, and, you know, it's just my job to go in and, and do my part, and the line does an awesome job of blocking, making it real easy for me to run and insert myself into it. It's been the biggest adjustment for you to the college game. Responsibility. You know, in high school, you always got somebody over your shoulder telling you to do this and do that. In college, you know, it's your job to get up, get to meetings on time. You know, you don't have your mom over your shoulder all the time. So the biggest thing is just like responsibility of, of own, like owning up to your own responsibility. That's that in mind. A little bit next week as well with classes starting too, right? Yes, you know, we start class next week. So you got to not only be able to just think football, now you have to put on, you know, your student um, outfit too and be able to, to handle both sides. With that whole responsibility aspect in mind, how important is it to, or how beneficial is it to have somebody like Dustin by your side who's going through the exact same thing? Um, very beneficial. Not only with Dustin, you know, with Bernard, with him already being here since January, you know, he does a, a good job of just letting us know how things work, you know, how to prepare yourself for it. So we're not alone out here. So, I mean, the other guys do a very good job of letting you know how things work so you be better prepared and you, it won't get, catch you off guard. Can you talk about the friendship that the three you guys have struck up, you know, you and Dustin and Bernard? You guys are competing for the same position, but it seems like you guys are always around each other in practice. Um, it's just one of those things. We're all going through the same stage right now because we're all freshmen. So we put, you know, all right, it's, we co we're competing with each other, but at the same time, you know, we're still friends because you're going to need somebody, you know, to lean on when things are down. Uh, Talk a little bit about that running back competition. Where do you think you stand? Um, I leave it all up to Coach um, Gillespie. You know, he's going to put the best player on the field, and it's just my job to go out there and give my all every day. That said, what is what is your biggest strength that you think you can bring to the field? Um, I just try to work hard and get better in every aspect, you know, to help the team win. Um, we all we all do a good job of rotating. So it's like like Coach Hogan said, it's an open competition for the job. You know, it's just our job to go out there and, and compete as hard as we can every day. And then at the end of the day, the coach is going to put the best player on the field. Fair to say, the three of you guys are three different kinds of running backs. Fair to say, overload. Um, you seem to be the quicker, the quicker one, and Dustin's uh, uh, a different style, and Bernard maybe runs a harder, harder style. Yeah, everyone has their own aspect uh, of what they do best, but Coach Gillespie does a good job, you know, of bringing us all together and trying to strengthen all our aspects so we can have more than just one component of running the ball. You know, it takes more than just being able to block and run it. You know, sometimes you have to be able to catch, too. It's, it's everything that put the complete back together, and Coach Gillespie does a good job of bringing us together and getting that, you know, all of us on one page that we all got to get better all around. When they change coaches and... Dana became not only the offensive coordinator and the head coach. I mean, uh, he's been known for throwing the ball, and you got a bunch of guys here that like to run the ball a whole lot. Uh, ever cross your mind that this was wrong for you or anything like that? I mean, what, what, what was that effect on you? Um, I've always been a, the type of kid, you know, I was taught to make the best of every opportunity you have, you know, regardless of what kind of offense it is when you when the ball's in your hand it's your job to do what the team gave you the ball to do so regardless of what kind of offense it is you know it's a great offense and and if we everybody do their job as a team we'll be very successful Guys, look at it as there, there's a spot for all of you, or you look at it as, I mean, I could coach Coach Gillespie the other day that you would take one running back to, you know, take the team on their shoulders. Do you guys look at it as a spot for all of you, or are you trying to become that main guy? Um, as far as that goes, we just go out and try to compete every day. Like I said, I mean, 
what the coaches decide ultimately at the end of the day, you know, is best for the team to be in a position to win. So we just go out there every day and just push through and just try to be the best all around back we could be as a team or as a group, as a running back group.